We're talking about books today, and specifically we're talking about Mercy Watson to the Rescue. This is the first book of the cutest series. I want to tell you a little bit about it. I want to tell you who it might be great for as far as age goes, and I also want to give you a few fun activities to celebrate the book. Hi, I'm Jamie, and this is Simply Learning Together. I am a homeschool mom of four. My children are eight and under, and we love reading books together. And one of my favorite things to do is to take a story and to experience it, to bring it to life. And we do this all the time in our house. We read something and kind of celebrate it with little activities that we can do. And we might make a day of it. We might just kind of throw one in randomly in the day, but it's so much fun. This is a new kind of video, something I haven't done before. So I'd love to get your feedback. If this is something that you enjoy and you'd like to see more of, let me know in the comments. Here's one thing I wanna to do to kind of make it easier for you. I'm gonna go through all the activities and kind of discuss them. I might show you a few pictures within this video. I'm going to put an outline down at the bottom in the description so that if you want, you can just screenshot that and use it so that you don't have to come and rewatch this video over and over again. So once you hear me talk about it, you'll kind of get the idea and then there'll be a short little outline of the things that you can do to kind of bring this book to life. So Mercy Watson is a story by Kate DeCamelo and it is about a pig named Mercy. She is so dearly loved by her family and they just treasure her so much and spoil her rotten. Well, in this story, their family kind of gets in a little bit of a crisis. The pig gets away, the family thinks she's helping, but really, she's on an adventure following her nose. <laughs> she goes through all kinds of stuff to where even the fire department is called. I don't want to give any more details because I want you to read it with your family, but that kind of gives you an idea of what it's about. This book is so great for your early reader. If your reader is fluent, and has confidence in sight words and sounding out words, then this would be so good. There are beautiful pictures throughout this book that are so enjoyable and silly, and the chapters are short and easy to get through. This is also a great book if you are wanting to start reading loud to your children and you haven't quite set that habit yet. If you have littles and you're working on practicing reading aloud together, pull out this book and read through it together. Share those pictures and it can be kind of a first chapter book sort of thing. My daughter, who is eight, reads these silently. She enjoys them and will kind of get a few from the library from the series and read them. Lots of ways that you can use this, but definitely a fun one with your family. So now that you know about the book, here's a few ways to celebrate the book together. When you start reading Mercy Watson, you're going to find out that her favorite snack is buttered toast. And I love eating when it's related to books. If the people in the books are eating fish, let's eat fish. If the people in the books are eating cream puffs, let's eat cream puffs. It's just fun to experience it. So we're going to have buttered toast, but we're going to put a kick to it. This is something that I used to do with my grandmother. It is such a treasured memory. I don't know if it's just really weird. <laughs> or if anybody else has done this, but I do it with my kids all the time. So this is called Painted Toast. And I actually have a little demonstration for you to kind of show you what it's like. Now, what you're gonna to need to prep a little bit, you need milk and food coloring, okay? And I've put it in this cup. You're also gonna need clean paintbrushes. So if you wanna sanitize your paintbrushes or just get a packet from the dollar store of new paintbrushes, that's up to you. So what you're going to do is you're going to put just a splash of milk in the cup and I'm going to see if I can do this without spilling. You're going to put some food coloring in it and that is your paint. Now give your child a piece of toast and you can literally take your paint and you can paint on the toast and this is so much fun. You can get as crazy or as simple as you want. Maybe you want to encourage your child to draw a pig or maybe a, you know, some sort of scenery, or maybe they want to write their name. It doesn't matter. I'm drawing a flower that is all green because <laughs> I only made one color, <laughs> but I just want to show you how cute this is. Now, once you put it in the toaster and it comes out, it's going to be nice and shiny and butter that and it gives it this glossy finish. It's so much fun. And then you can eat it. 
So here's some other things we can do to celebrate the book. In the story, the fire department is called. This is a great opportunity to talk about fire safety in your home. You can do this with books at your library, or you can just have conversation with your kids. This doesn't have to be complicated. Activities to live out this book can be as simple as having a conversation. You know, what would we do if there was a fire? What's the number for an emergency? Those are simple questions that you can talk about together to really understand what a fire department is all about. Another idea, and this one kind of goes out of the simple category, but you could do this. There was one year when we were homeschooling, I called our local fire department and asked if we could bring a treat. They were so thankful and they even gave us a little tour. If you want to do that, kind of make a trip of it, you could take your children to the fire department. So I obviously that's not the simple category, but you get to choose how you want to do this or simply just drop off a treat, whatever is best for your family. Speaking of fire department, let's play a game. I took my kids outside with chalk and made a, a few buildings with windows on it. I'm going to show you a picture. This was so simple. It took me two minutes. We have spray bottles all the time at my house. I get them from the dollar store because they're entertainment for hours. <laughs> I wrote numbers inside the windows, put my kids at the end of the yard, gave them a die to roll. They rolled a number. They ran up to the buildings and sprayed that number. So they were getting exercise. We were outside. We were playing. We were practicing number recognition. And you could do it however you wanted. Maybe you want to do two dice and add the numbers together. And the sum is on the building. So you can play with it how you want. But it's such a simple and fun activity to do to put out the fires with your spray bottle using sidewalk chalk. The last activity idea I have for you is so simple. It's about a pig. Find your favorite pig craft and do it with your kids. You Sometimes you can find paper plate crafts or you could just draw a pig. If you've ever heard of Art Hub for Kids, they always have all kinds of things that you can draw and I bet you can find one about a pig. I'll link a craft below that I might do with my kiddos and you can check that out and see if it works for you. So really that's only two or three activities, but they're so fun and it really brings a book to life. If you love Mercy Watson, there is a whole series and we've read many of them and they kind of follow the same pattern, but they're so cute and they're so fun and we all enjoy them. There's also some chapter books, Tales from Dekawoo Drive. These are for your more advanced reader, not as many pictures, more like your just average chapter book. And um, they, my daughter has read one of these and really enjoyed it as well. Like I said in the video before, if you enjoy this kind of video, let me know. I love talking about books. I actually have other books in mind that I'd love to talk to you about and give you some ideas to bring it to life. Happy reading.